Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Not Too Comic Book. This being a show, we're talking about TV shows that are adaptations of comic books. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about the latest episode of The Walking Dead World Beyond. A lot of really interesting things went down in this episode, so let's break it down. So first and foremost, let's pick up with the Iris situation is where we left off last episode. One of the events where we left off last episode, her killing the CRM person and just before she could finish the job because she was hesitating because she killed someone it's like yeah she was angry and everything but that's what she realizes later on it's like well she it was like no she even said it wasn't like she was even angry she was scared um but it's just like now figuring out for herself of like no i believe that they're the ones responsible for killing everyone i know and destroying my home you know and so that got the best of her before she could even kill um the CRM agent, it's like uh, Felix shows up in there. They're hiding from like the others who are scouting. And obviously this guy goes missing. So the lieutenant colonel is all about trying to figure it out. Like that's the thing about this being the well-oiled machine that it is. It is a thing of like, you know, when someone goes missing, like they have their protocols and stuff like that. So they're on top of figuring that stuff out when someone goes missing a lot quicker because they're a lot more militarized and organized. So it makes kind of like you know, someone disappearing like that kind of a lot more noticeable. And so now Will and Felix have to fix this situation because if it's already bad enough they're staying at the perimeter, but them doing this is endangering them even more because they're bringing uh, a, a shitstorm down upon them, essentially. So Will and them are looking for a walker that looks kind of about his body size and everything because the plan is to make it seem, as we see later on is to basically make it seem like they died in a struggle it doesn't have to be an exact match up close and personal just from far away granted the little container colonel was all about like she's like no, no, make sure we if we can try and get the body so it might not be a ruse that lasts for long um it's enough from far away, but hopefully they're not able to get the bodies. In particular, hopefully they're not able to get the body that's supposed to be Will's. Because if they are, that's probably going to like cause some complication in its own right. Because I don't know if... Well, because I guess the argument could be... Because I was about to say, like, the justification, justification could be that he ended up getting God at one point in time. And he's been dead for a while. So he Because the whole point was to pick someone that was rotted, but not too rotted. Um they kind of fit the time frame and then it's like oh like during the struggle but it's like he's got a knife wound too so i i don't know like because the the thing about them is they don't know the crm has studied a lot of the walkers which we'll get to in that side of things so those inconsistencies will probably match up of like because you could what are you going to say like will uh stabbed him and then like they both fell over okay then like you know why is he rotted too um if you're saying he's rotted it beforehand, why would the soldier have a knife? Wound? You know, so it's like there's going to be inconsistencies because it's going to be like, yeah, because they'll probably know like how long he's been decayed and would that timeline like line up. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what I just feel like there are enough inconsistencies for that to be an issue. But she had stopped by perimeter herself and talks to Indira and Indira brings up like, oh where's your daughter Jennifer I haven't seen her. It's like, oh, yeah, she was going for two years and yeah, she's back from assignment. And then you have Felix. Felix, Will, and Iris are hiding, but then, like, Felix and Iris look at each other because I think in that moment they're like, because I don't think it was, I could be misremembering, but I don't think it was revealed in season one, like, to at least to them. I don't even know if Hope still knows. I'm, I, I I don't remember if that came up conversation-wise last episode, but I don't think any of them knows that. Or at least Iris and uh, Felix in that moment kind of probably put two and two together, like, Huck is her daughter. You know, it's like you had like the CRM, or at least the head hunter that you're aware of. You had her daughter like right in front of you. So, because obviously, like uh, some of the other people in um, a perimeter, like there's a, one dude in particular that's telling Indira to get rid of them because like he found the, the coded books. It's like it's bad enough harboring them, but it's also like write these books. If the CRM finds out about this, like we're screwed as well. But. It's because I think Indira, because they're like, yeah, just give us a chance to make this right. So I think it's just like Indira doesn't want to, you know, because people are a good, are a powerful resource. Obviously, Negan believed that, and so does the CRM. Up to a certain extent, the right people are the right resources. That's a whole thing. So, but once again, it's like, who are you to pick and choose who lives and who dies? Because it's still not clear why they wiped out an entire community. Maybe it's to serve a greater purpose. Like, once again, like, to make it so, like, Hope had nowhere else to go. Like, that the CRM, 
like her and Leo would have only that to turn to like without once again maybe I don't I don't know if I brought this up in season one I might have I don't remember. like the because the app description is maybe I thought of this at the time and maybe I didn't and maybe it's just now that I'm thinking about it I don't want to try and give myself so much credit I'm like oh I, I definitely probably said this before like I don't remember half the shit I say in these reviews sometimes sometimes I get a general idea sometimes I, I forget because it's, it's been a while but my thought was like, what if it's like a Rachel Ghoul, like Oliver Queen thing from Arrow? Like he wanted Oliver to destroy his hometown because it's like, right, basically to do what you got to do, becoming um, the next Rachel Ghoul, you need to like cut your ties with the past. So by destroying your home, it's part of the ritual, of becoming the next Rachel Ghoul, basically destroy and cut all ties with who you were before. So I don't know if that was supposed to be the justification for it, because even Iris had brought that up to them about her theories of like them being the ones behind everything about home, by uh Omaha too it's like and Felix is like no no you think they would why would they do that like they might go about things their way but like it's like but for um Iris it's like I don't know maybe it was all about hope I mean we saw how far they were willing to go to get her and even Felix had to be like yeah they went about the most roundabout way to do that so like it's like maybe it's something we had like that they wanted they did take your supplies and everything so that's the thing of like maybe they rather they're not going to ask for supplies they're going to just take what they they find out what you got and then eventually they're going to take what they need once like you you're no longer useful once they feel like they've tapped the well and then they just take your resources because what you have is more important if we have it because we're going to like you're just going to waste it away and there's no guarantee we can just ask for it so we're just going to take it like sacrifices are needed for the greater good of the future that's i'm sure their justification for it so but even will says the thought did cross his mind about them potentially being because he knew like it, like iris said of like like why cover it up if it was just the empties like you know it's because they had to cover up their own involvement but it's because even will's like yeah the fact is they came after us like that at me asking too many questions like why that would lead to my, it's because of stuff like that so but uh regardless indira did uh my, my point was before was like i think indira looks at people as a resource so it's like right she's not going to cast people aside and she's not all about the crm situation it's just she goes along with it obviously for survival that's all it is for everyone but luckily they were able to cover it all up before um it went bad but at the end you had that line from iris where she was like she was scared that like it was like that she won't be able to strike back against them and uh, they don't have a move right now, but I love that line from Iris, like, this is uh, this is war, even if they don't know it yet. And Felix is like, yeah, you know, but until we find a way to strike back, let's, we got stuff here to hit, you know, like, taking care of walkers. They can at least take out their anger and frustration in that, but it's like, it's just like, they want, Iris wants to have the opportunity to make them pay, strike them back for everything that they've done. Taking her dad, taking her sister, manipulating her uh, separating her and her friends, uh, destroying and killing her people, friends at home, or just her home in general, you know? The whole only home they've known for so long. They've grown up behind those walls. It's like it's the only home they've had since the world fell, you know? And have that taken away from you. It sucks. Now, the other side of things kind of deals with hope being at the CRM, well, specifically the research facility, while also... Um, dealing with the Silas situation. We see him with that dude, Dennis. Um, and it's like, yeah, he's like, you can't reach for my knife, but then I'm gonna have to take it from you. And then you're going to go to prison for a very, very long time. And so basically Silas gets shipped off to like, what, um, uh, it's not decomposing. Uh, I, kind of, I, I forgot what they, basically they're killing walkers and then like they pile them up and then like eventually like send them to like a facility. Because basically it's their way of working their way up. Because the other three that he's working with are planning to get to the research facility. It's like, oh, if I could go there, I can be like a guard or something. Because for them, it's like, if I can, like, in any shape or form, if I can, like, be a part of, like, what's coming in the future, then this is fantastic. Because essentially, and we finally learn more so about what the CRM is all about. We learned it from Lila, but com combine that with, like, the whole situation with um, Dennis as well. That essentially... Dennis is like, right, this facility, there's like multiple ones, like arenas and like stadium size, like facilities. And basically it's about taking back the state. If we can push back the dead, you know, because on the way there, like he killed one. He's like, yeah, that's one less one. But if we can push them out of the state and keep it up 
to the point that they can never get back in, we can actually start reclaiming the world. Like, you know, this is all about starting over. Because at the CRM, we finally find out what, like, the whole deal is about. Like, the gathering of information and all these supplies and everything. It is, it's, the CRM is meant to be ground zero for taking the world back. Because they're trying to not, really, not necessarily just find a cure for, um the dead like whatever viral or fungus or whatever it is they're trying to find that that and obviously get rid of it in the living so that they don't come back as the dead but also find a means of tracking what it is that's in them that's reanimating the dead and keeping them going and then you re you're able to de destroy that whatever it is they want to wipe out all the dead at once if they want to have basically I, I think i borderline i would assume like a very like specific biological weapon like say it's a fungus they're trying to find that very fungi thing that and this is something that's really interesting because this is something we haven't touched since season one of the like original Walking Dead of like oh is there a cure for this it's like no and then Rick got told like yeah like he got told the secret that he doesn't tell the rest of the crew until like season two's finale that like oh like yeah we're all infected like you know it's not just the bite that kills you like the mo you know because everyone finds it out to varying degrees like obviously like some people find out um like just from experience of seeing it uh, in the, in the universe, but others like it, it, Rick in particular, he learned it from um the um God what's his face the um CDC dude um from the end of season one he's the one that informed Rick about like what how it works of like yeah you're all infected the moment you die you're going to come back unless you like stab the brain that whole thing so. But uh, regardless, um, the the point I was making is like, yeah, a biological weapon to like attack that fungi and just it's it's just it's just fascinating that we're right. My main point was like it's fascinating that we're going back to this thing because a permanent solution hasn't really been some like everyone's just living day by day like trying to like survive in this world rebuilding their own way whereas the crm is on a whole other level it's like they're that's why they're talking about like yeah their plan is in action for like the next hundred years because that's what this is all about this is about laying the groundwork for the future all these supplies all the people they're gathering is so that they can gather the brilliant minds in the world have them learn and gather all this technology and and, and knowledge so that they can pass it on to the new generation who will continue that work and so on and so forth, generation after generation, forever long it takes to like deal with this situation. So this is like they're thinking in the long run of this being a generational thing. So Hope is kind of a little bit of a celebrity. I don't know if everyone knows that she's Leo's kid, but like, right, she's the latest person here. And so like the moment she's walking about, people are taking notice. She's also going to have to be like reserved when she's around her dad because she, she figured out pretty much early on about like oh my dad's with someone she didn't know at the time but she was looking through the bathroom and found like the extra toothbrush or some jewelry so she knew like someone was there but leo just didn't want to kind of overwhelm her with everything you know and obviously it's like oh were you ever in any danger and she was but she doesn't want to talk about it because it's like the circumstances of what led to all of that she'd rather not get into just because she'll threat uh It'll be a, it'll put her dad in an unfavorable position with the um, CRM, but also it's just like I don't want him to worry. It's like I was worried about you the entire time, so you know. Um, also saying like, cause she was like, oh, because he kept giving her like bacon. She's like, no, no, I'm good. Like I'm not like, you know, um, I'm not like a, a weightlifter or anything like that. I don't need all like this protein stuff. It's like, no, Felix like made sure I ate. It's like, yeah, I probably never want to see a can of beans for the rest of my life. But yeah, he always took care of us. And it's like, yeah, Iris and Felix, oh no, they'll be found soon and they'll be brought here. She has to keep lying to him, knowing like, no, they can't come here, you know. So because if they ever if it if they're found out about how much they know about the CRM, that'll be a whole issue in itself. So, especially if it gets found out that if met up with Will, and it's like, oh, if Will's still alive, he's probably talked to them, so they they need to be removed from the equation too, which is going to be a complicated complicated thing because, like, I guess she's hoping that enough will get they'll get enough out of Leo and maybe Hope um, without it being an issue of, like, yeah, Iris and Felix had to be taken care of, or they'll fake it, be like, yeah, sorry, sorry, they... Uh, they die because they'll probably try and do that with Will if they don't see through the BS. Um, the the masquerade that um, Will, Felix, and Iris set up. 
it's so sad when you look at the whole Lila situation uh, really quickly, too, just because it's like knowing that it's just a means to an end, like because satisfying, like being there for Leo, it's like their entire relationship is just meant to keep him occupied, but also like to kind of keep him like reined in. But it's also like you have to make sure you're good at your job, not only for the purpose of like, right, keeping his great mind at ease so that he can continue his great work. But also because it ensures you're like, yeah, you're gifted in your own right. But if you prove like you're filling the job and position you were given, because everyone's I think it's kind of almost supposed to be like the Commonwealth where everyone has their job and position. And if you're not fulfilling your job to the fullest, which Leo is technically part of her job as well, I think that could be an issue. So it's kind of like, yeah, but also it's like I think maybe she, she definitely feels bad for manipulating him, you know, which because obviously Leo's catching some of the manipulation especially because like she's like i'm a, she's apologizing for everything but it's like no no no. if it wasn't for you like my daughter would have been back there so like if it wasn't for your um interference like um it was a specific word to use i can't think of it right now but it's like yeah if it wasn't for your um interference like you know my daughter would have been there so it's like i'm glad that you did what you did but you can tell why that kind of feels bad for her. but it's like having to put up that smile like knowing that you're just trying to placate leo for the sake of the crm and you're trying to like pull um pull hope further in because of it because she ends up showing like all the welcome uh tape by um or like video by uh leo once again like they're researching the dead like trying to find out so they can make the dead understand the dead more uh, predictable so you can finally like you know notice their patterns and just kind of atmospheric changes well not atmospheric but just like changes of the environment how how much of an effect it has on them so like they've been researching the dead and stuff like that because it's like they were trying for years and years and years to like do the whole like the the setup thing that uh they're using to examine the walkers and stuff like that they've been doing that for years it took leo the cr like cracking it and he cracked it in like two months so that's why it's like for him it's like he has such a gifted mind and obviously hope is kind of at least from lila's perspective is like okay we're swaying hope a little bit in the grand scheme of things obviously hope also met mason which i love that he's like oh yeah this is just a supply room but the crm's pretty like big about like um no one taking stuff without permission and it's like do you want anything out of here i can get it. i can break the rules if it's for you and she, she's like i want that mop and i was like what, the f what are you going to do with a mop and he hands it to her she's like what am i going to do with a mop i was like yeah that was exactly my question it's like she's like i just wanted to see if you'd actually do it so uh, i'm curious if a uh, potential ally uh inside the walls is kind of what they're potentially setting up in there it also ties in like i said nicely with silas because the moment silas finds out like what if you keep working hard you can get to the um get to this uh research facility which i'm trying to remember i guess he knows hope is there i don't once again like i remember a lot but i'm there's some of the finer details so i'm like i think he knows hope is there so that's probably like you know, the reason like right i need to get there for uh for hope um or maybe he thinks maybe iris is there too because like that's where their dad is so it's maybe it's a combination of all of that because he does like iris um but aside from all of that, uh, I think that's where he's going to work. Like, even if it means working as a guard, he's still going to work his way up. He's going to prove himself so that he can eventually go there. So I think that's going to be a, a focal point for everyone to kind of, like, meet up there at some point in time over the course of this season. Um but also we find out, because like one of them had made a reference, like, oh, do you got a girl waiting for you there? Oh, that's something him and Dennis have in common. I was like... I'm like, wait, because I kept being like, I recognize, feel like I recognize, either it's the actor who's playing Dennis, I recognize, but I was like, I'm trying to remember, like, I don't think he was a part of her squad, was he, that we learned about, like, last season in that episode where we got to learn about Huck, like, you know, during the fall and everything, but I'm like, I don't remember if Dennis was a part of that team, maybe he was, I just don't remember, but him and Huck are connected, so potential ally on that front as well we'll see because i think there's a few people that could get turned i think huck could be convinced to turn against the crm maybe i don't know it's kind of in her lifeblood because it's in it's, her mom's like a good part of this um uh, like i said she's the highest figure we've met but obviously there's even higher people that we don't know about um because even Silas had made that reference in because it's like, oh, this is about starting over. And Silas is like, is that why you're here? And it's like, yeah, I think it is. You know, uh, he wants to 
maybe make up for the past, but also is just trying to create a better future for not just himself, but for everyone, you know? That's what, like, we should all be coming together for that purpose. Granted, they're going about it in a very destructive way. It's like, once again, it's the ends justify the means type of move it feels like from them in general, but still. Um, so that in all in itself, it's, it's fascinating. But then there's also Leo confronting um, Elizabeth about everything. It's like, for him, it's like, what bothers him the most is the deception that you use to get my daughter here, like, and also you put her in such a dangerous position with only one soldier. It's like, that one soldier is someone I trust with, like, you know, because it's like, right, Huck, that mole, and it's like, yeah, that mole, like, I trust her, then, like, I'm, I have more faith in her than a million soldiers, because she's my own daughter, so it's it's trying to appease him by being like, I put my own daughter in that situation to protect your daughter, so I was just as invested for hope in getting here. But what bothers him the most, once again, is the lies and the manipulation, and it's just kind of like, it's like, bring me Felix and um, Iris, because I want my entire family together. And it's like, yeah, we're, we're working on that. It's like, because he was like, I want to go with the uh, investigation team. It's like, oh, sorry, they've already been dispatched. So it's like, yeah, the moment I heard, I had to just, it's like, blah, 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 lying out your ass type of situation. Which arguably, well, I was about to say, like, it's technical in line because they're not be, being retrieved, but it's like, you first want to find out how much they know, and then you'll see if you can uh, bring them here or not. Um, she just can't let Leo know about that. So she's trying to keep him in the dark as much as possible. But I love that she tried to turn it against Leo because Leo's like, don't get it twisted. The most important thing to me is my family. She's like, yeah, sure. And that's why you ended up leaving them and coming here, right? So it's like twisting the knife like that. It's like you want him to like be more on your side. Because like, for her, she's like, we did a psychological eval on you and your daughter. So, like, be so before we even brought you here because we need to know. like, you and it, So it's like... Because he had talked about how cold and pragmatic the CRM is, especially how they handled the, hope, the whole situation with Hope. But she's trying to say that he's the same way because it's like, right, you claim to care about your family more so than anything, then why'd you come here? Obviously, everything he's doing is for the greater good, which is in turn for his family. But it's still the thing of like, yeah, you came here by yourself, so it's like, oh, you don't care about them too much. I'm sure like with being with Lila probably complicates that even more because it's like right while my my children were away like I kind of started a little bit of a new life with someone so it's like I mean granted it's not as bad or maybe it does make it just as bad knowing that like yeah she's just kind of manipulating him I think she does care for him on some level but you'll never really 100% know because it is just kind of her job it was what she was kind of ordered to do she's meant to um appease him and keep him working with the CRM like obviously like Hope being here was supposed to like motivate him even more but it's like like look no you're supposed to be the main one motivating him that was the whole reason why we set that whole thing up between you so probably even their meeting they probably like oh accidentally bumped into you together like your movie type of thing of like oh it was love at first sight and then we, we hit it off and just like oh yeah but like it was like yeah it was a setup from the very beginning type of thing most likely Sitting here thinking about the Lieutenant Colonel and Indra, part of me wonders is like, I was about to say, was like, could she be connected to CRM? It's like, but if she was, they wouldn't just let her go like that. Like, even with the perimeter and everything like that, they wouldn't let her go. So, like, I'm wondering, I mean, granted, yeah, they do their side of things, so we already learned about their arrangement, but I'm just like, how did that even begin? Like, how did Indira, like, get that opportunity? So, I'm thinking, like, it has to be a situation, like, there's some history there for her to know about Jennifer, and it's like, oh, I want to talk more, and stuff like, it's like, there's got to be a history between the two of them. Um, maybe they knew each other before the world fell, and then they reunited after the world fell, and I, I'm just, I'm curious how that all, uh, came to be. It just, it, it, uh, sparks a lot of questions, essentially. But you did have the Lieutenant Colonel Threatening, threatening essentially Leo of kind of like, yeah, you want to kind of keep up your good work. Essentially being like, yeah, a veil threat of like, you, you want to keep on our good side. You want to keep doing what you're doing. But even they know like eventually Leo's going to outlive his usefulness. It's like, man, we don't want that great, great mind to die. But that's also why we have hope as kind of a backup, essentially. So I'm, once again, it's like how you plan on manipulating that situation because if you get rid of like that, that's going to be like, because that's why they want hope to be all about it. They want you to be so dedicated to it so that even if someone you care about is removed from the situation, you want to continue all forth in their honor, but also for the sake of all the other people that might be out there, whether they're the people you're connected to or just people in general. But um, obviously, you know, 
Leo, I forgot what, what, oh, like, I think he was like, yeah, I'm trying to get information on Felix and Iris, but they weren't at a retirement home. She's like, yeah, but they most likely moved. And it's like, he could tell she was making excuses. He's like, is there something you're not telling me? Like, you can tell me. And so Hope's reluctant because she knows, like, if her dad knows, that's going to cause more trouble and she doesn't want anything to happen to him because of it. So... I'm curious, because we didn't cut back to it, but I'm curious to find out whether she ends up telling him the truth or does she continue lying to him. Um, but it is definitely like, um, if they need to, they'll get rid of Leo. They hope not to, but they want to keep him reined in enough that they won't have to get rid of him, you know, because that's also like why Hope is here, to kind of keep him in line. Because it's like, if we can... Um, appease with the hope situation then that might help appease leo but he's still at the point like asking questions about iris and felix so until that's kind of resolved i don't think that appeasement's going to happen until hope probably talks to him and she tells him everything leo's probably like i don't know how good of a liar leo is though so lila might be able to see through it um he might end up opening up to her which he shouldn't which i guess he knows not to 100 percent do that like where her where her trust really lies isn't with him, it's with the CRM. Because for them, for her and everyone else, it's like the CRM is the future. So why wouldn't our loyalty be to them? So it's it's definitely going to be interesting to see where everything takes us going forward into the next episode. Uh, but really, that's all I'm going to talk about. Until the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, live life to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.